Top 10 Best Attractions in Budapest Hungary's capital city Budapest is actually made up of three unified cities, with Buda and Abuda on the west bank of the Danube and Pest on the east bank. Much of the city has been granted UNESCO World Heritage Site status, and many visitors consider the city to be amongst the most beautiful cities in Europe. The city successfully mixes its fascinating history with a brilliant, laid-back contemporary artistic style. There are a wide range of different things for visitors to see and do, from museums to thermal spas, so everyone should be able to find something that tickles their fancy. Let's explore the best things to do in Budapest. 1. Parliament Building The Hungarian Parliament Building, which was designed and built in the Gothic Revival style, is one of the largest buildings in Hungary, and is home to hundreds of parliamentary offices. Although the impressive building looks fantastic from every angle, to see the whole building in its full glory, it is worth viewing it from the other side of the Danube. Tours of certain areas of the building are available daily, and run in different languages. 2. Gellert Baths One of the grandest spas in the city is the Gellert Bath and Spa Center, which includes an open-air pool, which turns into a wave pool, an effervescent swimming pool, a Finnish sauna, and a range of other saunas and plunge pools. Massages and other spa treatments are also available at an extra fee. The complex was originally built between 1912 and 1918 in an Art Nouveau style, but it sustained serious damage during World War II. The whole spa was extensively renovated in 2008 to bring the baths back to their former glory. The baths are open all week for mixed bathing. 3. Heroes Square Heroes Square, Huesukatera, which marks the end of Andrashi Avenue is home to an iconic monument which features depictions of the seven chieftains of the Magyars, who are believed to have led the Hungarian people from Central Asia to the Carpathian Basin. Atop the central pillar is the Archangel Gabriel, who is holding the Hungarian crown. At either side of the central column are two matching colonnades, which depict a variety of other historical Hungarian figures. The impressive buildings at either side of the square are art galleries. Take care when crossing to the statue, because traffic around the monument can be erratic. 4. Margaret Island Margaret Island is a 2.5 kilometers long island which sits in the middle of the Danube, which is covered in parkland and recreational facilities. There are a number of companies which rent pedal carts, golf carts, and other self-powered vehicles, so that you can explore the island properly. A rubber-coated 5.5 kilometers running track encircles the island, and is a popular jogging spot for runners who want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city. One of the most famous features of the island is the music fountain, from which water regularly dances in time to classical music. Other notable features on the island include medieval ruins and small aviary which primarily caters for injured water birds and wildfowl. 5. Danube Promenade This stretch of the Danube walkway goes from the Elizabeth Bridge to the Chain Bridge, and is perfect for those who want a short, but interesting walk. Promenading along the Danube is a great way to see many of the most famous sites in the capital. Looking over towards the Buddha side of the river, you will see the Buddha Castle, the Liberty Statue on Gellert Hill and the Fisherman's Bastion. On the promenade side of the river you can enjoy restaurants, cafes, Seicheni Istvan Square and a range of different sculptures, including the Little Princess. The Danube is also perfect for a river cruise, there's a fun dinner cruise and folk show, with gypsy music. 6. St. Stephen's Basilica This basilica is one of the most important religious buildings in Hungary, and visitors to the reliquary can see the, reported, right hand of Stephen, first king of Hungary. As this is a holy site, visitors who plan on entering the church are asked to keep their knees and shoulders covered. Those with a head for heights can travel up to the base of the dome and look out over the city. On a clear day, this is a great vantage point from which to survey Budapest from the air. Classical music concerts and organ concerts regularly take place inside the basilica, and sometimes spill out into the square outside. 7. Hungarian State Opera House 
This neo-Renaissance building was first opened in 1884, following a commission from Emperor Franz Joseph. Outside of the building, you can see statues to Ferenc Erkel, composer of the Hungarian national anthem, and Ferenc Liszt, Hungarian composer. The 1,200-seat auditorium is considered to be one of the best in the world for operatic performances, and it is well worth it to buy a ticket to a show. Ticket prices start from as low as 500 feet. If you cannot find time to see a show, guided tours of the Opera House are available during the day, although these usually need to be booked in advance. 8. Fisherman's Bastion Although the Fisherman's Bastion looks like a medieval monument, it was actually built in the early 20th century in a neo-Gothic style, specifically to act as a panoramic viewing platform across the Danube, Margaret Island, and Pest. It is named after the Guild of Fishermen, which was responsible for defending that stretch of the city walls during the Middle Ages. The seven towers of the Bastion represent the seven Magyar tribes that helped to settle the Magyar people in the Carpathian Basin. Come at sunset to see a particularly beautiful view of the city. 9. Seicheni Thermal Baths Another bath center in Budapest, the Seicheni Baths Complex. It is the largest medicinal bath center in Europe. The waters are rich in sulfates, calcium, magnesium, bicarbonate and fluoride, which are believed to help patients with degenerative joint illnesses and other medical issues. For those who just want to enjoy the relaxing powers of the thermal pools, there are a variety of different thermal pools on site, as well as saunas and steam rooms. Massages and beauty treatments are also available at an additional fee. The two outdoor pools are fantastic places to visit on a cold, dark night, as the steam rising from the hot water makes the whole place seem wonderfully mysterious. 10. Hungarian National Museum the Hungarian National Museum is home to thousands of exhibits detailing the history, art, religion and archaeology of the country, including exhibitions from areas which are now considered to be outside of Hungary's borders. The spectacular neoclassical museum building itself is worth looking at, even if you do not plan on touring the inside. The peaceful gardens outside of the museum are considered to be a popular meeting spot, and are particularly popular during the summer months. Thank you for watching.